start our coverage tonight with that win for Governor Cuomo. See you. Political reporter Marsha Kramer live at Cuomo uh, campaign headquarters in Midtown where the governor just delivered his rousing victory speech. Marsha. Well, Maurice, there was really never very much of a doubt that Andrew Cuomo would win a second term. But nevertheless, he seemed to sigh, heave a sigh of relief that the campaign and the rough and tumble of the campaign was over and he could get back to the governing in New York. We began our journey four years ago with some very clear directions. We charted a course with two bearings. We were going to return New York State to the state of fiscal stability and responsibility, and we were going to restore New York State as the progressive capital of the nation. He didn't get the 63% of the vote he got four years ago, but a win is a win. And now Governor Andrew Cuomo has four more years to move the state forward. We said that we would not be pushed or pulled by the extreme forces on the left or the right, that we would always remember the guiding star is service to the people. Cuomo will have a new partner in Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, pressure from progressive Mayor Bill de Blasio on education, and a wish list of things he hopes to accomplish. He said, we are just getting started. We're going to raise the minimum wage for working families. We're going to pass the Women's Equality Act because discrimination and inequality against women stops in New York State. Well, the most touching moment of the night was when Andrew Cuomo brought his ailing 82-year-old father, Mario, to the stage. Mario and, the, and his son, Andrew, kissed, and it brought tears to Mario's eyes. Reporting live from Cuomo headquarters, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Okay, Marcia, thank you. Well, Governor Cuomo's Republican opponent, Rob Astorino, faced an uphill battle in this race. He conceded a short time ago. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider live at his headquarters in White Plains tonight. Jessica. Maurice and Christine, Rob Astorino saying he called Governor Cuomo to concede and congratulate him on a second term, but also saying tonight he hopes Governor Cuomo heard the voices of New Yorkers in this campaign. Rob Astorino speaking to this room full of reporters just a few minutes ago. As he did, he also left the door open, though, for future political fights, saying we have planted a flag and we'll be, we'll, we will be back to reclaim it and advance it further. Rob Astorino standing with his wife, his three kids, and also his running mate, Sheriff Chris Moss. As he stood there and talked to this room, he called on Governor Cuomo to reform the ways of Albany and the policies in this state. The corruption in Albany, it needs to stop. New York government ranks as the most corrupt in America. New Yorkers no longer believe in their government. They are badly disillusioned, as evidenced by today's weak voter turnout. It's why I called for state term limits in my campaign, and I hope Governor Cuomo will keep his pledge to seriously look into that idea and Common Core. Please consider getting rid of it, Governor. I ask you as a parent, mostly. So Rob Astorino calling for better governing in this state, but also alluding several times throughout this concession speech that he will be back in the political fight, and it could be soon. We are reporting live from Astorino's headquarters in White Plains. Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News. Jessica.